Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chakisha Sims and I am here to do a plan with me in my Erin Condren Life Binder. And here is just a quick glimpse from last week's spread. Um, and now we're going to get into this week which is September the 9th through the 15th. And I will be using this um, accessory book from Happy Planner and it's the Daydreamer. And I'm super excited. She has some brown girls in there so I don't have to go in and color it myself. And I'll be using this washi from Simply Gilded. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is pull these pages out. I have already pre-sliced um, at the hole punches for the whole month. That way I don't have to keep opening it up and putting a lot of tension on the rings. Um, so I'm showing you the areas where I'm going to white out. And I will be using these date covers from Sadie Stickers. And this is the Tombow that I use quite frequently. Um, so I've already whited out those areas that I was showing previously and now I'm going to go ahead and just lay down these date covers. Um, now what I like to do when I have um, identical stickers, I like to just pull them all off and put them on my hand, my wrist, and my arm. That way I won't have to keep going back to the sticker sheet and pulling them off. And I've already laid my date dots and I did use silver foil date dots from Planning City and you guys she has some amazing foil items at a very reasonable price so you make sure you go check her out um, so I'm going to skip through this part because you know once you see the first two date covers um, laid down on the spread you pretty much know how to do the rest of them um, so once I do this I am going to start working on my bottom washi um, because I'm not using the kit this month um, so I do have to create my own bottom washi and I am using some washi from Simply Gilded. You know Simply Gilded, all the bows just needs to be somewhere on the spread. Um, and because this, um, the washi strips, well the washi tape is thin, it is very important to white out. Even if you don't white out anything else on your planner, you do have to white out on the bottom because you're going to see straight through it not unless you just don't care but if y'all are anything like me i know you probably care <laughs> so that was a 15 millimeter um like ombre type washi that i was laying down with the silver bows and this is a 10 millimeter and this actually has silver script on there and i thought it would be perfect um because i am using a lot of silver accents and the script on the stickers they say like simple and clean light and airy um, fresh and fun um, so it's yeah, i thought that would be really really cute to add into this spread especially since it does still have like a summer theme to it you know we're still in summertime fall hasn't gotten here yet we got a couple more weeks before it's time to put up the floral summery spreads but you know, do we really have to? I mean, it's my spread. I can lay the stickers how I want to. So you, you never know, you might still see these light colors because I am a pastel girl through and through. I try to stick it up, um, switch it up and add some brights and some darks, but I'm a, I'm a pastel girl, you know? Who says you can't have light color flowers in the winter time, you know? somebody find me some pink roses i'm not gonna say no it's winter i need red no give me the pink roses <laughs> okay so anyway so i am finishing up the washing and this is the um i already did the left page and i'm just finishing up the right page now and this is the 10 millimeter silver foil with the white bows on there um, so now I'm going to go ahead and work on the sidebar and this is where it gets complicated for me. So two things that are hard, <laughs> using one sticker book to find everything that you need and then um, not having some of the headers and things like that that you would normally use in this type of layout. Um, I have become a big, big fan of using um, stickers that have headers on it so like my today stickers my to do stickers those things are like necessities for me right now like i can kind of fill in and find like the faux glitter headers and the full headers and things like that but i need to do in today headers 
I have fell in love with that. Um, never knew that my life could function without them in my planner. I was doing well before that. Um, but ever since I've been using kits, I just feel like I just need to buy sheets and sheets of today and to do headers just to have in the event I don't decide to do a kit. So if you guys know of any sticker shops that sell specifically just the headers, um, let me know. I probably could make my own, but I don't want to fool with that right now. Um, so let me know some shops that just sell um, script headers that say today and to do. And to be honest, I'll probably end up going on Etsy, doing a Google search and finding them by the time this video is up. <laughs> but still give me your suggestions. Um, so um, it is tradition, but it's not a requirement that when you are doing your um, sidebar to use some type of quote or script sticker in that area or a super cute deco sticker would be good as well. But you know, you're starting off you know how your eyes look at the page if you look from left to right you want it to be okay when i first look at it i'm seeing something positive something motivating so i'm assuming that's why that whole script sticker <laughs> thing is a thing but you know sometimes following trends is not all bad because i got me some words of encouragement to look at um so again as you're going to see i'm going to be doing a lot of flipping and it's going to be a lot of parts where it's um edited because edited i cannot say that word edited <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of edited parts because again i don't have a kit that's specifically formatted for um what it is that i'm normally do i'm used to doing i'm trying to like flip through this sticker book and find what i need without using any other sticker book because i promised myself with this spread that the primary stickers that were going to be used were going to be from this kit well not this kit see i'm so used to saying kit that it was going to be used from this sticker book um, because i am in we are rounding up at the end of the year and i was going hard at the beginning of the year saying no more hoarding um and it's not that I was hoarding, it's just that I couldn't stop buying the things. And so as I was buying the things, I wasn't able to use the stuff that I already had. So I am going to be super intentional to shop my stash and use what I got. Um, now I will say this, a lot of my Happy Planner stickers, I have been, um, you know, they've been kind of like that redheaded stepchild. They've just been sitting in the background. And um, and why do people say that? I love redheads. So anyway, I'm digressing. But yeah, so I just really haven't been using my Happy Planner sticker books um, because I've been falling in love with kits. Like, I don't know how my planner life survived without kits. I really don't know. Um, and what I'm doing right now is just self-explanatory. Um, a lot of times this is what I do. I just talk over the things that in my mind seem self-explanatory. So if it's ever anything that I do in my plan with me's and I don't explain it, please, please, please feel free to um, ask me in my comments box. I'll be more than happy to go over that. Um, but a lot of times I do end up ram rambling but it'd be beneficial rambling <laughs> because I'm not a, I really am not a talk through video person. Like I just want to let the video play while the beat drop, have you bop your head, looking at the spread, get inspired. Like that's my thing. But y'all love my voice for some reason. Y'all was like, we want to hear your voice, Keisha. We want you to talk, Keisha. Well, even though y'all don't say Keisha, y'all say Chakisha, but most people that are that are pre my, how can I say this? I used to go by Keisha all the time because I got sick of people not being able to say Cha Keisha. Um, so I'll probably say within the past five years, I've really been stuck on having people to call me my full name. One, because my husband was like, that's your name. That's the name that you were given. People should call you your name. And two, um, that's your name. <laughs> So I was like, yeah, you're right. He said, stop trying to make stuff easy for everybody else. You spend your whole life making things easy for people when it comes time for them to actually, you know, go hard for you. 
it's gonna be hard for them because you've been giving them the easy way out so I was like yeah you're right you're right so you know Chakisha is my name so that's why when I come on my videos I always say Chakisha and I always say Sims because I waited a long time to have somebody else's name <laughs> well have a husband's name <laughs> anyway so what am I doing now I am what am I doing I am adding this um, post-it note or sticky note see they got that old school we call them post-it notes um, because this accessory pack comes with um, sticky notes on the left side I was like these can be used in my spread like and I don't think I've ever really tried that before. So um, that sticker did have a little flag on it. So I just cut it off. Uh, one, because it would have hung over the edge. And then two, I just didn't want it there. So now I'm going to um, kind of be um, all over the place a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do first is add this 5 millimeter washi to the top. One, to cover up a little bit of that white out um, that was exposed. Um, because in my mind, I was thinking I had a kit and I had um, glitter headers and I could have used those to cover up that space in between the box and that little header section. But I was like, no, I'm not using a kit. So I got to bring these date covers down and now I got to cover up the white out. So anyway, so that's how that silver washi um, ended up getting into the play because I did not pull that out originally. Um, so because of that i kind of started more so on the right side of the spread than the left side and i really don't have a rhyme or reason in regards to the order that i lay my stickers and i want to be better because when i watch all of these other planner babes and they're like okay so on monday we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that and then on tuesday I'm just laying stickers. Sunday I'm laying stickers. Tuesday I'm laying stickers. Wednesday I'm laying stickers. Monday I'm laying stickers. And I ain't telling y'all why I'm laying stickers. I'm just laying stickers. <laughs> so I just be like, I'm so dis unorganized. Like, <laughs> are y'all even following my plan with me? Or are y'all just watching them and not listening? If y'all ain't listening, that's fine too. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So that little section right there where I laid the doll sticker over top of, um, it's almost like a rectangle two box sticker, um, but it didn't fit um, horizontally in this spread. It had too much room on the right and the left of it. So I decided to lay it vertically and then just put this girl sticker on there. And the reason being is on Thursday and Friday, I really don't have any thing that I have to do because I'm gonna be at a conference all day on Thursday I mean yeah Thursday and Friday so um, I just figured I'll just put a doll sticker there I haven't used a doll sticker in my spread in a while um, so that's what I'm doing there and also you know Saturday and Sunday is not really a lot of plans so I figured I'd use that um, horizontal sticker and layer it with the weekend banner because you know you gotta have your good weekend banner in your vertical spreads it just wouldn't be right and I did a lot of struggling with um, these stickers for some reason they just kept looking like they weren't straight to me and after I did all of that it looks like it was really straight the first time but y'all know how we do our eyes be certain way and I try to lay my stickers with my pages going straight up but I have to have my pages to a slant whether I'm writing or decorating I can't plan with it straight up and down that's just me some people can some people can't and I'm the some people that can't um, so now I'm just going through trying to find what I'm going to lay down next um, and now I'm going to focus solely on this left side of the spread. So now I'm getting refocused. Okay. But I'm still going to be all over the place. <laughs> but at least I'm on the first half of the spread. Um, so I didn't have any glitter headers in which you could see. And I did pull out these um, glitter headers that came with a kit that I got from It's Just Paper Co. last year. And... I've said this in previous videos if I don't use all of my stickers I have like a stash um, where I store all of my leftover stickers for such a time as this 
because you never know when you don't have what you need shop your storage where you keep your leftovers because nine times out of ten you're gonna find something that'll be able to um, match the spread and these darker color um, glitter washies match that top left deco sticker um, in the spread so it worked perfectly um, so now because I don't have any today headers I created my own using these silver um, quarter box not qu yeah quarter boxes out of the colorful boxes sticker book and then I just used today's script stickers that came from shop LCA and I do PR for her shop um, so if you are interested in purchasing anything um, from her shop or these scripts make sure you check out the description box for the link as well as my code um, so now I'm just doing the whole flip a thing just flip 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 <laughs> and of course Monday is not a Monday without a coffee script sticker and a cup of coffee in my hand so I definitely 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 want to use this sticker um, and I think it's super cute and yeah I decided to move it up because the bottom wash because these are happy planner stickers so they are longer um, so they actually fill up the whole box so you definitely have to either kind of stagger it or adjust whatever you did prior to and that's what I did I just moved these um, faux glitter headers up and put them um, at the top of the spread to be um, to line up with my handmade today sticker um, so this sheet are custom scripts that I made myself I've been practicing making script stickers um, and I've been really enjoying it I love um, how it's turning out um, because I like scripts where it's very little white around it um, so I'm trying to perfect making the cut lines as close as I can but they're still able to pull off as long as you have the right cut settings because you know if you cut too deep it's going to cut like it's a um, die cut if you cut too thin it just ain't going to come off the page but I have custom shea cuts and what are custom shea cuts basically shea budgets gave me her cut settings um, and she helped me adjust it to my silhouette because I do have a silhouette um, portrait too um, because it is brand new the blade is a lot sharper so I just was able to set it for um, the brand new blade um, so all of my stickers so far with my shade cut settings have been on point they cut through perfectly they don't cut through the paper and even with me having the um, cut lines so close to the words it peels right off without tearing the stickers so I'm super hype about that so you never know what will happen in the future with me and my scripts keep watching keep listening keep looking keep subscribing um, so y'all see that I had that little silver bow that came from the paper blush bar I have them in all the metal well not all of them but in my basic metals which are silver gold and rose gold I absolutely love those just to use as accents um, when I am doing my spreads um, so now just going through this sticker book um, because even though it's a lot of stickers it's just not a lot for what I'm looking for um, so it definitely takes a lot of patience I think um, this video was probably like an hour and some change before I chopped it up and sped it up um, and a lot of that has to do with I'm not a when it comes to what I'm going to put on my spread in regards to stickers I'm not a pre planner um, like that um, so I used a conference call icon sticker from Elaine Michelle Studios um, and I actually put it on the wrong day it was supposed to be on Wednesdays um, we've been doing prayer conference calls every Wednesday morning preparing for the retreat um, because we believe in prayer and we believe in staying covered um, so if you are interested in getting that or anything from her shop I do have a link and a discount code below um, but what I was saying what was I saying I don't know what I was saying but either way oh I was talking about I forgot what I was talking about anyway it might come back to my memory if not 
I'm pretty sure y'all got whatever it was that I was trying to get y'all to get. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing here is um, adjusting the sticker because Tuesday is Real Life with Lavrez and Shakisha, and that is a custom script that I made as well. Um, and that one, when I say that joint is cut it is cut to the script like i got that real close and it still didn't rip i'm so like y'all know i'm gassed up i'm really gassed up um about how i'm coming along with these script stickers and i think i was talking about the script stickers but you know it's it is what it is um so now i'm using these tear drop dots um that came from sweet paper um, and I'm again I'm trying to shop my stash use what I have um, and I think one thing about not using the kit it does kind of force you to shop your stash um, so now I'm pulling off some more of these custom stickers that I made myself I'm gonna keep saying that because y'all understand I was ready to throw the whole machine away <laughs> um, so again going through flipping through this book looking to see what I can lay down next um, oh that's what I was saying I don't I have an idea of what I want to use but I don't have everything like right there at my disposal so what happens is I'm looking for stuff so I can add the stuff that I'm looking for um, and to some people that might seem disorganized but it works for me because I am super creative and I'm not saying that to toot toot my own horn or anything but I'm visual so once I see what I'm using then my mind starts but oh you got this pull this you got that pull that so that's how I do like it's it's so hard for me to say I'm gonna use this kit this week I'm gonna use this kit next week I can't do that well I ain't gonna say can't because you never know um, and so I added this other box sticker here but anyway I I, I, I just can't get my mind wrapped around um, saying this is what I'm gonna use each week um, because I might feel like I want some extra foil and the kit that I might have picked for the next week might not have any foil so I pick my kits however or my sticker books however I feel that day um, so for any of you that want to know how I do my prepping for my plan with me it ain't no prep I might be in the bed and I'm like, oh, I'm going to use this sticker kit today. Or I'm going to use this sticker book. And when I wake up in the morning, that's what I do. Um, so now I'm pulling some more of these custom script stickers. And if you're asking what they say, um, on the left it says live. So that's to indicate anytime I go live. Um, then I have the um, film plan with me, edit plan with me, upload plan with me, and collab plan with me stickers. Um, so those are what I have been working on along with some other things. So again, keep watching, keep looking, keep listening, keep subscribing, keep hitting that notification bell because you never know what your girl going to do. They don't call me Martha for nothing. <laughs> and if y'all don't get the inside joke, me um, and Lisa Mack, we are the duo called Mary and Martha Plans. And she calls herself Mary because all she do is just sit there because that's what Mary did. She sat at Jesus' feet and she calls me Martha because I'm always doing stuff. But I'm doing stuff and still sitting at the feet of Jesus. Let's just make that clear, okay? <laughs> like, I'm like, all right, Jesus, I'm listening to you. But I'm over here, I'm over here making stickers too. But I'm listening. I'd be multitasking. Jesus be like, if you don't sit down somewhere and get this good word, I'd be like, all right. <laughs> um, so now I'm just... Um, Moving on to the right side, um, I finished up the left side as you can see. Um, and now I'm just using these um, stickers from the Style Planner um, and to indicate work. And these flag stickers from the Stationery Muse. Now these stickers from the Stationery Muse came with a sub box. So I'm not sure if she sells them individually. But if you check her shop out, she does have some amazing things outside of just having her subscription box. Um, so if you have never heard of her shop or if you thought all she had was subscription boxes, make sure you go check out the Stationery Muse because she has more than just sub boxes. 
Um, so now what I'm doing is just whiten up this section um, because I pulled the sticker off um, to use on the left side, but I decided to, okay, motorcycle. Um, I decided to use this to indicate my Starbucks runs because everyone knows I go to work super early on Saturday mornings and is nothing that home coffee can do. That's you, I just I just can't have a home cup of coffee. I got to have my Starbucks. Got to have my triple grinded extra hot caramel macchiato. I'm telling you, that's sad as it must have. It must have. Um, so I used this coffee um, cup that was in the sticker book. But yeah, I got a Saturdays. Not unless I'm running late. Um, I don't stop. But for the most part, you're going to catch me with a cup of Starbucks coffee on my station at the salon if you were to ever come through. Um, so let's talk Mac more about this spread. Um, so now I'm using some more of these faux glitter headers at the top of the spread. And what I decided to do was to um, use them over this section where I have the girl, but just kind of cut them. So it looks like that vertical sticker and that girl is just kind of like popping through um the headers uh, and because you know i'm not i probably really won't put too much on these um these are actually four boxes um because you know one she just looks cute there so i don't want to you know put nothing extra i might write down one or two things um, but other than that i probably won't put anything else in that section so i wanted to put these headers so i wouldn't look too plain um, without having anything else on there um, so now I'm just going through looking for more stickers um, I do definitely want to use um, some of these floral stickers that is in that are in this book um, and because it's, it's almost like when you do a happy when you use happy planner stickers you feel like you gotta pull out floral stickers um, so you will see that I will later go through and um, cut some stickers up and you know kind of scattering them throughout the spread um, so on this section I decided to take this full box sticker and turn it horizontally um, because I wanted to layer um, some quarter box stickers from the colorful boxes sticker book to indicate um, the days for the conference um, but before I do that I did pull see this flag sticker so I went ahead and laid that down um, because I'm going to use that to indicate um, Sunday is planning days. Um, so basically when I say planning time, for me, um, it's just that's when I'm pretty much kind of like writing out, doing my pre-planning. So I have a I have a couple of different things, but I have a Erin Condren scheduler pad that I typically try to use to write down what I need to do day by day um, for my business and social media which this planner is for and then for my personal stuff in which i pull out my my personal stuff in my b6 and my hobonichi um so now what i am doing is just adding these um dots right here again these are like teardrop dots <laughs> that sounds funny teardrop dots teardrop dots um again just to kind of make the spread look a little you know a little cute um, so what I decided to do was to pull up this sticker and put this um, overlay planning sticker from Golden Plans Co um, but I still wanted to use the script sticker that I made um, and yes I made it <laughs> and uh, it's, it's just funny to say that because y'all I'm telling y'all 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 just don't know one day I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a whole story on my journey of using a silhouette uh, so just pulling some more stickers to indicate filming um, Saturdays and Sundays are my day that I do my bulk filming I am a bulk filmer um, and so I'm using that um, sticky note again and cutting the flag off um, just to make it look like a box sticker and what I do and I don't think I said that in um, earlier but I just used this Elmer's glue stick to lay it on down <laughs> um, so I'm gonna add the script sticker here along with a little icon um, because you know it just looks a little bit lonely um, and these both stickers that I've been using the colorful ones 
are from Nikki Plus Three. She's like one of my favorite YouTubers and sticker shop owners. So, um, so yeah. So what was I saying? Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually do a video one day because I want to do a couple of because um, I've been getting some requests to do certain type of um, videos which will be front facing. But your girl's hair is a hot mess, so you won't catch me doing a front facing video. Um, you know anytime soon maybe next month but not this month yeah i don't know well maybe i don't know i might can get one in because i do actually get my hair done on monday so you might get some front face facing um videos and i know i'm a hairstylist y'all but i'd be so busy doing about everybody else hair by the time i get off i'm not trying to fool with my hair you you know that's just like if you are if if you clean for a living by the time you get home, you are not trying to fool with nobody else's house and be clean in their house. You hear? I mean, it's just like, I'm not clean 20 houses a day. I am not cleaning my house. So anyway, so I'm finishing up the spread by layering these stickers that I was talking about earlier. Um, and I'm going to just cut that little bit of overhang off. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and shake the table first. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some more of these stickers that... Um, not stickers more of these flowers uh, because I only this one that I actually put down is actually one sticker and I cut it in half as you saw um, a few moments ago and I went back and got these other three stickers um, because I wanted to spread them out on the left side because I am I try to be as balanced as possible um, even though the left side looks like it's got a lot more going on than the right side but probably by the time you see um, a look back on my next video next week, um, you'll probably see that I've added more things on the spread um, because I don't, I'm not a white space planner. So I do like to try to go in and fill in the white space areas if I did not write any plans um, for that day um, in the planner. Um, and that's about it so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up and then I'm going to do a little bit of pin again I am a daily planner I only write down the things that I know for a fact that are that I'm gonna do um, so you'll see again next week when I show um, when I show this spread you'll see when I add some more things um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and just do a little bit of writing. Um, and again, I'm trying to be so much better. I, I want to be authentic and I want this to be an actual plan with me. Um, so this is my spread. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and pop this back in my planner. And I'm able to do that because I've already um, slit the sides right along the hole so it can pop back in super easy. Um, give you another Lisa Mac shimmy right here. And if you have any questions at all about this spread or anything that I've used, make sure you go ahead and drop me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and as well, click that subscribe button and that notification bell. And also share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, loves, peace.